Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah. And today we're going to talk a little bit about British TV shows that you can watch, which will help improve your English. Personally, I think that British TV shows and films are really good at the moment. We're really giving America a run for their money. Absolutely. And just in general, Watching TV is such a huge part of British culture. Yeah. We've got amazing shows. Yeah. We just don't sort of remember that. No. It's only when you're watching, like if I'm watching a little bit of Greek television when mm -hmm. I'm away or with my family, that I remember how grateful I am for British TV. Yeah, definitely. Because it's so bad. I think it's only fairly recent though as, as well that the UK has really upped their game in terms of production of British films and TV. So I remember back in school having a Canadian teacher and she was like, I hate TV over here, it's so boring, like there's nothing I want to watch. Whereas I think nowadays, especially with Netflix and with Amazon Prime and like mm. loads of these things, there are so many now big budgets for yeah. British things. We might be using American money. Yeah. We, we use your money, don't choke. Thanks. We might be using American money, but we're yeah. using British actors and British scripts and oh, British definitely. writers to create amazing yeah. things with huge budgets. So let's crack straight on. Mm -hmm. um, so in this video, we've got sort of three different types. Uh, we've got three different categories here of British television. Mm -hmm. First category is scripted TV. So by scripted, we just mean it's written, it's planned, the actors know what they're saying. It's not reality. Yeah. Some of the shows that fall into this category are Game of Thrones, which I'm sure many of you already watch. Game of Thrones is a show which you can watch on Sky. Sky Atlantic have bought it, so it's actually not on Netflix. But because of the amount of variation in the show, you've got regional dialects from Northern England, you've got Southern England, you've got RP, you've got um, sort of Midlands RP, you've got everything in the show. There's just such an amazing range of dialects. I think it's a fantastic show to watch to really um, sharpen up on your English. And loads of episodes to do that in. There's so <laughs> much to watch, yeah. I think we're on season seven now. Wow. So there's some other obvious ones that you can watch. Sherlock is really good. Hugely popular. Hugely popular. Really good for pretty much just RP accents. There will be some other ones in there, but very good for RP accents. And isn't there, side note, if you're visiting London, along Baker Street, there's somewhere you can visit, which is like Sherlock Holmes. Museum. Mu the Museum of Sherlock yeah. Holmes. But if you want to go to the actual location, it's not on Baker Street, it's on North Gower Street. Yes. We used to go to school on Gower Street, and just north of that, on North Gower Street, is the actual building where 221B Baker Street is actually at. Amazing yeah, knowledge, Joel. Really Joe. cool. So London tourism. Note that down. So yeah, the obvious ones, Game of Thrones, yeah. Sherlock, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah, that's another really good one. I used to watch that all the time. And perhaps watching with subtitles is quite a good idea, mm -hmm. if that's an option on whichever streaming service you're using. Yeah. I think it's really great to just sort of be able to read and hear at the same time. Definitely. But one that you might not have heard of is Luther, which is on BBC. It, I think it's on BBC America as well, if you're in America. It's really good. Have you seen it? No, I know Idris Elba said it. Yeah, know. he's so good. And it's just, it's terrifying. It's a thriller about this uh, police officer called Luther. And he goes around solving these crimes. Each episode is pretty much an episode within its own right. Um, but yeah, it, again, it, that's really good for urban accents, London accents, because it's all set in London. Amazing, that's mm. such a good range of stuff. Yeah. So, um, moving on, we've got loads of comedy in the UK. We've also done a video on um, British comedy in sort of contrast to American comedy. Mm -hmm. You can click on that uh, in our end card and we'll link it below. Yeah. But um, some of the comedies that are really helpful for listening to English accents are The Inbetweeners is a really great TV show in the UK that also got made into a feature film. Yeah, two twice. feature films, yeah. Um, really funny, about a group of four British teenagers mm -hmm. that go through school and they're just sort of like your classic English lads. Yeah, they're like, they're not quite children anymore but they're not adults hence the name in between us so I think it gives you a really accurate view to how young people in the UK speak and interact with each other it's great for culture and mm -hmm. just for just English banter but I'd say watch it if you're I think over 18 they'd probably say over 16 um, but yeah it's not 
It's quite rude, isn't it? It is quite rude. So if you're a young viewer, don't watch The Inbetweeners. <laughs> no. Similarly to The Inbetweeners, you've got shows uh, which are also sort of comedy and British and, and fresh and new. Peep Show, uh, IT Crowd, Phone Shop. Fried, all made by the BBC or ITV. Mm -hmm. Any of these shows, all really great to watch if you're into comedy. Yeah. So within the category of comedy is the subcategory of classic comedy, which is, I'd say, comedy shows that were made sort of between 20 and 50 years ago. Yeah. Um, personal favourite of mine, two of my favourites. Firstly, Faulty Towers, which I know you love as well. Amazing. Really funny about uh, a hotel in Torquay in Cornwall and how it's just managed by a complete idiot. It's hilarious. It? It's so worth watching. Yeah. Um, just, just go and watch it if you're interested in... You don't have to be interested in old stuff. It's just it's so yeah, funny. You'll love is. your head off. It's really good. And another one that I watch all the time with my family is The Good Life. Did you? I thought you were going to say Vicar of Dibley. No, I used to watch Vicar of Dibley and yeah. I still do love it. I watch it at Christmas all the time. Yeah. But The Good Life is also really funny. Uh, just about two different f uh, couples living next to each other in a suburb of London, in Surbiton. One's really posh uh, and the other one's more down to earth and they have a small holding and they're like really countrified and they're friends and it's just really funny. That's brilliant. Only Fools and Horses, a really, really great show. It's actually my grandfather's favourite show and he's, oh. he's Cypriot. He didn't even, his English was really broken and he loved this show. So anybody can watch this show, it's so funny. You don't have to be amazing at English to understand it. And, and what's that good for? Cockney. Cockney! Yeah. Classic, people are always searching London Cockney accent. Only Fools and watch Horses Only is the show to watch. Yeah. And it's got a really famous opening jingle as yeah. well that will stick in your head for ages. Cooking Street. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> Another show is uh, for RP, Ab Fab, which is like an episodic seasonal show, but also been made into a film very recently, mm -hmm. although the film was not highly regarded, it wasn't rated mm. very high. I still haven't seen it. Um, the actresses in it are um, hilarious and both RP, so yeah. worth watching. Mm -hmm. And the last category is reality TV slash soaps. So firstly, soaps, to get that out of the way, are kind of seen as like lowest of the pecking order in entertainment in our TV. country. So the first one is Emmerdale, which is set in Yorkshire on a farm, village, place. So it's good for Northern accents, as well as Coronation Street. That's good for mm, sort of Manchester, Manchester accent rather than Yorkshire, which is Emmerdale. EastEnders is uh, London East End, EastEnders. Mm -hmm. Um, what other soaps Hollyoaks. are there? Hollyoaks, is that up north as well? That's north, but I think they have quite a few southerners in it as well, so I think it's a good mix. But that's mainly for younger people. Hollyoaks. So if you're young, you'd probably enjoy Hollyoaks a bit more, more so than, than the others. Extenders. I don't watch any soaps, and I know you don't no. really watch any either. No. I'm not really... But what we do watch is reality, is reality TV. TV. <laughs> We're all guilty of watching this, so reality TV is obviously shows like... Um, Love Island is really popular right yeah. now. Um, we're guilty of watching that. Yeah. It's where people are put on an island and they have to fall in love with each other to win. It's, it sounds so <laughs> bad, but it's really addictive. It is. I don't normally watch that much reality TV. Like, Big Brother is another one. No, don't watch don't it. Don't watch it, don't like it. Even The Only Way is Essex, I don't really watch that. Um, Made in Chelsea. Made in Chelsea, don't watch that. But for some reason, Love Island, I'm just so addicted to it. I absolutely too. love it. I don't know how the show have done it. They've no. got everybody who says they don't watch these shows watching it. Yeah. These are great for watching people talk naturally. Um, yeah. There is no script. No. Or well. they say there isn't. <laughs> yeah. Who knows if there is or not. But I know. they are natural people, normal people. Um, yeah, and supposedly there is no script. So it's good to watch for slang terms and colloquialisms. Um, and like we said, it's easy to identify which one you're learning which accent from. Only way is Essex, you're going to be able to learn an Essex, Essex accent. accent. If you're watching Made in Chelsea, you'll learn a really heightened RP accent, or not necessarily heightened, sort of contemporary, contemporary RP. RP, but a bit more posh than we are, I'd yes, say. Yes, definitely. So guys, we hope this has been helpful. Obviously there's a lot of shows listed there, so we'll make sure that we sort of do a list of them in, in the description yeah. perhaps, mm -hmm. if that will help you. Don't forget to go over and watch our video we made on British comedy. And yeah. the difference between British comedy and American comedy. Definitely. And let us know down in the comments if you have watched any of them. And if you have watched any of them because of our recommendations. I'd like to know whether 
you've been inspired by this video and you've become addicted to Faulty Towers. And whether you wish you had Bernard to watch like us so you could pause <sighs> time, watch all the TV shows and then yeah. just switch your life back on because it's really hard to feel like you're not wasting time yeah. when you're watching TV. Definitely. But if you see it as research for your yeah. English learning... It's all research. If your teachers are complaining, just be like, I was watching my English listening practice. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> well, don't forget to push the like button, it really helps us out, and we will see you next week. Take care! Bye! Bye.